Hi, Phil Bedford here, and welcome to the Rebel Networker. Hi, we're here today with uh, cultural expert Amal Loring, uh, and Amal's just going to give us some do's and don'ts for people who are living in uh, Muslim countries. Uh, what are the do's and don'ts at the at the, um, at the holy time of Ramadan? Okay, good question. Thank you, Phil. And there are many. Um, let me just fire off some of the ones that are very practical, which you may already be aware of, but just need to be reminded of and uh, reinforced. Clearly, eating and drinking in public is um, for uh, in Muslim countries is forbidden. In uh, non-Muslim countries, just be uh, sensitive to the fact that uh, it's uh, inappropriate to eat and drink in front of uh, Muslims. If you're an organisation uh, that ra that uh, plays music in the reception, bear in mind that uh, again in Muslim countries, don't play uh, music. Many receptions have you know apples and fruit and uh, this type of thing available. You know, remove uh, remove those for uh, many ladies to be aware that they should dress more modestly during that type of uh, that time of, uh, of the month of Holy Ramadan because it's um, you know more appropriate to uh, to do so one of the key things is to make sure that when you're setting up a meeting with somebody to make it during the mid mid morning sort of 10 11 12 o'clock maximum time because then you've got the uh, midday uh, prayer Trying to set up a meeting in the afternoon, really when that person has been fasting for several hours, particularly in very hot countries, their, their natural energy begins to drop, their focus begins to uh, drop. If you want to catch that person, a key decision maker, because you're building those uh, relationships with them, then make sure it's uh, in the morning. Uh, make sure the subject matter isn't too heavy, like you know, uh, contractual uh, agreements, where there's a lot of fine detail, because things could be missed and you don't have to go back and uh, start again. If you're wanting to be, um, again, building those relationships, reinforcing uh, the importance of those relationships, it's nice to take along with you uh, some gifts uh, that could be opened and uh, eaten a bit later on during the uh, day, during those uh, times when people break their fast. But make sure they're covered up. So if you've got a beautiful basket of uh, dates, just put a cloth or something over the uh, top and say you know that's for your uh, that's for your for the family or for yourself during um, uh, iftar. And so, so for Westerners who are living in, in uh, Muslim countries, um, is is there appropriate ways to to drink and and to do what you would do? Or many uh, uh, restaurants and organisations themselves provide uh, facilities for people who aren't fasting mm. because there are also Muslims who who don't fast, pregnant ladies, the elderly, the very young facilities for them to eat and drink. So if you, you know, and most country companies don't expect you to fast if you're not fasting. So they provide facilities to so go behind the closed screens or into a room that's designated for you to, uh, to eat and drink. Um, and you know, don't eat and drink at your uh, desk where you've got other people who may be fasting. Even if they can't see you, they can smell. Believe me, when you're fasting, you do get that heightened sense of, uh, uh, of smell. So just keep those type of things um, out and about. But also, Ramadan isn't just about eating and uh, drinking. It's a time for the uh, Muslim to return back to reading the Quran, uh, to make zakah, that compulsory um, tax that uh, they're asked to uh, pay, as well as uh, sadika, uh, which are random acts of uh, kindness. So be aware that the person may not be focused 100% on their day-to-day -day duties at work, so really cut them some uh, cut them some slack. Okay, some great tips there. A very important time. So Amal, thank you again. So some great tips there, and uh, if you are living in a Muslim country, some great uh, ways of uh, oh, living with a bit more compassion, and a bit more awareness and understanding. And if we're anywhere else in the world, keep your eyes open, and you build some great relationships. Amal, Rebel Networker. <laughs>